We're going to be editing a photo where we're going to replace the color of the sky with a different color by using the color replace tool on Pixlr. And so um, for this photo, I decided to use green and uh, because it kind of complements the guy, the surfer guy right there in that photo. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is look for my photo. Uh, I decided to do an image uh, search on Google and I found this photo so I right clicked on that photo and copied the image address and then I'm going to close this one out I'm going to go to load URL and paste that address into there and then load it Okay. Now before we start coloring, uh, we gotta do two things to uh, to prep this photo. And one would be we're gonna make a selection so this way when we start coloring, it doesn't go into the mountains and the ocean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the magic wand tool, and it has a couple different options here. Uh, so the first option is new selection, which we will be making right now. And then the tolerance, I want to keep it kind of low. And all this other stuff you don't have to mess with. So I'm going to click on any area to make a selection. But then I got to add on to this selection. By, and I keep clicking until I get most of it with what I need, most of what I need done. So I have it all selected. Now I'm going to go down here in the toolbox and I'm going to go to the, the white circle for you. For me, it's a green circle because I just used green. And I'm going to select the colors. So you could go through red and orange and purple and then just select the tone of color that you want. So I'm just going to keep it to green and click OK. Then, after that, you're pretty much ready to go for the color replace tool. So, once you get that, uh, I set my brush to 500 um, on this fe feathery tool right here. And I kept all the other settings pretty much the same. And I just made a clean sweep all the way across. So that's what I'm going to do. You might have to experiment with this tool, uh, so just kind of keep in mind of that. So I'm going to do another one, see if I can get more um, green in the horizon line right here. And then I'm going to try to see if I can get more. There we go. It creates like a transparent... Um, filter so it's not like you're painting the photo you're just you're just replacing the color but keeping a lot of the detail uh, within the photo and then you can hit deselect by doing control d and there you go you've replaced the color in the sky with another color if you have any questions please email me at erica.rosser at desertsands.us otherwise uh, uh, good luck on making your creation